Coco Studio version 2.4.4 has just dropped, and there are a lot of exciting new updates to talk about. In this video, we're going to cover all of the new features, including updates to the UI, Coil Pro improvements like elevation tracking, as well as new face filters. So when you open up Rococo Studio, the program should automatically update, but if you're unsure about what version you're on, you can click on the question mark and then go to what's new. Here you can see all of the new updates, and if we click learn more, we can get a bunch more detailed info. If we check out the summary of new features, we can see the biggest addition is that of elevation tracking for Coil Pro users. However, you'll need to update your Coil Pro to take advantage of that. We can update the Coil Pro by going back to Rococo Studio and just plugging it in via USB-C and downloading the update. Once that's done, if we want to use elevation tracking, we can just jump into a scene with a Coil Pro, and then we can either enable it in the details panel while we're live, or instead, I strongly recommend working with elevation tracking on recorded clips. Elevation tracking with the Coil is subject to the same workflow as without the Coil, and we've put a tutorial for elevation tracking down in the description below if you want to find out more. Another new update is that many features have been moved over to the details panel here on the right, and that includes the retargeting options and a couple other things that make the UI just a little bit more organized. This also includes the new face capture features. These new sliders let you make some edits to your facial motion capture, either live or after the fact, and these edits will also work through any live streaming out to other programs like Unreal Engine or Unity or whatever you are live streaming to. You can adjust the jaw, mouth, brows, and eyes, you can sync the eyes, and you can also adjust the blink range for each eye. Also, when it comes to the Coil Pro, we've made a number of improvements with this new release. They include reduced noise in determining the global position of an actor when the Coil Pro signal quality is suboptimal, better notifications, and a better Coil Pro calibration flow. You can check out all of these improvements as well as bug fixes over on that release notes page. That's it for the big updates. Again, go check out the release notes if you want to know more details, and also stay tuned for more improvements coming in the future. Thanks all. See you in the next video.